Hi guys, Steve Blankert out at the range again, and I got something else to show you. Unlike most of my videos, this one's going to be something different. This is not going to be an antique rifle. This is going to be a brand new rifle that I picked up, and uh, actually I kind of put together, and I thought it would be kind of fun to share with you. This is a Ruger 1022, one of the most common 22 semi-automatic rifles on the market, been around for over 50 years. And uh, what I did is I put it together with a M1 carbine type st stock. Now I have to admit, I saw my buddy Mike had one of these and I just thought it was so cool I had to get one myself. So I picked up a, a Ruger 1022 and I ordered this M1 carbine kit for it. It comes from a company called E. Arthur Brown Company. Uh, you can find them online if you're interested in it. Uh, but it's a drop-in replacement stock. Uh, I also ordered some new tech sites for it that look more like the M1 type sites. The, uh, this is a tech site 200. It's a fully adjustable peep sight in the back, which really helps with my old aging eyes. And uh, it works really good. Now, I will tell you, the one thing I did do was uh, I stripped the stock. When the stock came from or the E. Arthur Brown Company, it had a spray-on finish that was really dark with almost purple type of cast on it, which I just didn't like. So I decided to strip that all down. I stripped it and uh, stained it with America Walnut Stain and a couple of coats of True Oil and put it all back together. And uh, it, I, I like it. It looks a lot more uh, like an original M1 carbine stock would. So it's just a lot of fun to shoot. I mean, who doesn't like a 22? I mean, with the, with the price of ammunition the way it is now, 22 is just a lot of fun. These little semi-automatics are just, just a blast to shoot. It's really accurate. Uh, you know, it's just a lot of fun. And uh, so I brought it out to the range today for uh, the first time since I got it all put together. And I've been shooting a little bit here, and it shoots really nicely, and I got the sights adjusted on it. So it's just a fun little rifle. Uh, inexpensive, easy to put together. Uh, I mean, I got the, uh, the sling kit for it that goes on it. Uh, and plus, it normally uses a... The Ruger 10 round rotary box magazine, but they also sell uh, what's a, it, look, it looks like an M1 carbine uh, extended magazine, and you epoxy a standard Ruger uh, magazine onto the top of it, and then that fits in, and it just gives it the, the, the M1 carbine look. So it's a lot of fun to shoot. So let's just take a few shots with it just for fun here. I'm gonna come over this side. Put my ears on. Put this in. That's it. Isn't that neat? Just like an M1, easy to shoot, pretty inexpensive, and just playing a lot of fun. And uh, just to show you, this thing is accurate. I'm going to move the camera over here. Uh, I'm going to show you this target that uh, I just shot a little bit ago at 50 yards. And hopefully you can see that. That's a group just a, a little over an inch, I guess. Um, it, it wasn't hard at all to get it zeroed in on the, on the bullseye. So it's a really nice, nice little setup. So anyway, I just wanted to show you that, something a little bit different. I uh, hope you enjoyed this. If you like it, please uh, like the video and subscribe to my channel, and I'll have more videos coming out soon. Thanks for watching.